Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And today I'm so excited because two years later, I have Pennywise to review for you guys. So if you don't remember the situation with these dolls, they came out back, I believe at the end of 2021. And uh, they were nearly impossible to get because I think there were only 500 of each. I managed to get the Grady twins when they went up on Amazon later on. Um, but I had ended up skipping Pennywise kind of on purpose, but kind of just because of financial necessity. And I really liked the doll, but I prefer The Shining to it. So I was like, that's fine. But as the years have passed, <laughs> I've been very sad that I missed out on this doll because she's really cool. She's beautiful. Um, and she's become ludicrously expensive since then. My mom randomly decided to surprise me with this doll because she was the last one that I was missing. And... I am so excited. And the reason my mom was able to get this one is because she was way cheaper than she is normally sold for because the original owner of this doll, and this is actually one of the first 500 that had one of those prints too, so I actually have the print too, um, cut the doors off, which I agree with this decision because the doors, if you want to display this doll in box, the doors make it literally impossible. It is ridiculous. So I opened it partially because I wanted to see if I could get the plastic off, but God, these boxes are so nice but only if you're going to open them because otherwise you cannot display them like it is so weird um but anyway because look at how high glare that plastic is you can see everything okay so it says it pennywise doll you will float too cool let me get it a bit better here we go it says hiya you and the losers club is my lurking a bit too freaky for you down in my gutter you know what they say one person sewer is a clown's home sweet home don't you want to join me are you not intrigued by my killer style and my gore just smile you say you are fierce, that you are not afraid, prove it. Show me you are unique. Show me you are a monster too. Oh, I like that. Um, don't you want to be a monster too? Um, all you've got to do is float. Come on, we all float down here. And then we've got the, the red balloon, of course, a bunch of them. And yeah, so here's the barcode if you want to find her in stores. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's get her out of the box. Boxing these dolls from the actual outer box is highly stressful, but just cutting them out of the box is actually very easy. This one in particular was very simple. Pennywise is now out of the box and this is what she looks like and I'm just so in disbelief. I haven't opened this doll yet even though I've had her for a couple months now because it's just been every time I grab her and I'm like it's time I'm gonna open this doll I get like nervous and can't um just because this uh present just doesn't feel real it feels like one of those things you saw in a dream um this was so unbelievably thoughtful um <laughs> And I am so, so excited about her. And I cannot wait to get her up on display with my other collectors up there. I now have them all. And the reason that I find this one so cool is because, you know, there's been quite a few collectors that are based on movies now. And most of them seem to be, like, the character from the movie, but on a Monster High doll. You know, like, they just made a doll of that character, but on the weirdly stylized Monster High body. So it doesn't work for a lot of them. But for some of them, like Greta Gremlin like Pennywise, it feels like they fully were like, if we were to make back in 2010, a Pennywise Monster High doll or a Greta Gremlin Monster High doll, what would we do? And they like fully realize it. And I feel like that's what they did with Pennywise. And that's why I was so bummed about missing out on her because I am quite a completionist collector, but you know, like I have a lot of incomplete lines and I don't really like try that hard to collect them all. But with Pennywise, over time, I realized like, that is doll design excellence. Like, that doll is amazing. And also, she's just very cute. Just as a Monster High doll, she looks really good. All right, so let's get started. As always, we're going to start off with the face. And I think the face was really, really well done on this doll. I really love the super thin eyebrows. The way that they did the lines on Pennywise's face are so cool. And this just looks like a 2010's Monster High doll. Not, maybe not 2010, but like 2011, 2012. Like, Look at that face. I'm not sure what sculpt she's on. Um, I'm just not good at spotting sp face sculpts, to be honest with you. She does have, like, human ears. Isn't she so cool? Like, look at her profile. She's just so striking and interesting. I love the yellow-brown eyes, and the shape of the makeup is also quite interesting, the way that the brown ends here. Just really cute. Really, really cute. And then her hair, she has a widow's peak, and she has this red curly hair. It's similar to the hair that they used on Honey Swamp. I love this hair fiber and texture. I really wish that they would use it more. It's so, so nice. Look at that. And of course, this is saran hair, so 
quite a bit on the head, a little bit less than usual because this is like an adult collector doll that's meant to have this very specific hairstyle. This wouldn't be the best doll for restyling and stuff, but it's a good amount of hair on the head. You could get quite a few different hairstyles on here because this hair has quite a bit of volume. All right, she comes with two accessories. She comes with the little boat, the SS Georgie, so let's... Oh, interesting. It's quite rubbery. Hmm, I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be hard plastic. Cool. Okay, so this is what the boat looks like. And again, it's like squishy and rubbery. Very interesting. Of course, it's meant to be a little paper boat. Very cute. And um, it has a little thumb hole as well, so the doll can actually hold it, which is super cool. And then this blew me away because I didn't realize that any collectors had come with this feature until uh, Dracula, I think? So... There's this little arm on that you can put on the doll stand. You can put it above or below the clip. And it's meant to help support this balloon because, yeah, she could hold the balloon, but Monster High dolls don't have, like, you know, the most hardy joints, I guess. So they won't hold things super well, especially heavier things or, like, long things like this. So there's this arm to help support it. Or you could even have her not holding it and just have it floating next to her. So I think that is super, super cool. And it's just a red balloon. Could be a reused sculpt, but it's no big deal. I really like the sculpt of this little part. Yeah. Also there, it actually looks like the string has wrapped around. Cool. Needed to have a red balloon, so I'm glad that you came with it. And then there's this arm here, but again, you can just remove that. I really wish that more Monster High dolls came with floating accessories since this is a thing. I don't know, I think that's really cool. So with Dracula, it was a little bat. And that, those are the only times I'm familiar with that. Like, And I think at the play line, that sort of thing could work too and be very cute. It adds a lot to a display as well as for play, I feel like. So I would love to see that more. Not like G3 Monster Idols come with stands, unfortunately. I love G3, but that's one of my biggest criticisms actually is that it is really weird that they don't come with stands. Okay, so she appears to have a two-piece outfit. So she has this dress and then some leggings underneath. And this dress is really, really cool. So as is standard with Monster High, we've got printed fabric for the sleeves and it's that same fabric for the leggings. But this is actually a really detailed outfit for a Monster High doll. I'm not comparing this to any other doll, but for a Monster High doll, these different trims and all the different materials and like the puff sleeves and the, oh, the ruff is different. So the little ruff is actually a separate piece, excuse me. Um, let me, does it come off easily? I'd like to take it off, yeah. Okay, so we can take a look at the dress better. 2019 sculpt there. Oh, did Pennywise have a new sculpt then? Or it could just be a modified sculpt. Okay, this is the ruff, by the way. It's made out of, I think, just like a nice quality tool. And tulle is not really a fabric that you need to hem. But look how nicely it's sewn in the middle there. It's really nice. Cute. All right. So looks a little strange without the rough now, but here we are. So generally with Monster High, they really relied heavily on printed detailing. And sometimes you'd get some trims, especially on earlier ones. But overall, getting a lot of trims and things is highly unusual. So this is actually a super nice piece. Um, I believe these dolls, wasn't this doll like 60 when she came out? I don't believe compared to most other dolls that cost $60 that she would be worth 60, but compared to most other Monster High dolls, she is nicer. I will, I will say that. Most other Monster High dolls, by the way, not all. <laughs> okay, so let's get started on the dress. So first we have the bodice of the dress, which has three different pieces that are sewn together. And there are little puff balls down the middle that are sewn on and they're actually little puff balls too which is super cute and we have this really interesting trim throughout the outfit which I really like you can see it goes all the way around to the back and we have that same trim on the sleeves in two different places on both sleeves it's just really nice it looks really really nice and it's kind of got a sweetheart neckline but then of course there's these big puffy sleeves made out of organza love puffy sleeves I love them this is really really cute and I love this Oh, she's standing on her own. Um, I love this interpretation of the Pennywise outfit. I think it's really, really cute. It doesn't look like really cheap Halloween store costume. It actually looks like effort was put into the design to make it like interesting. So I appreciate that. And then we've got that tool material from the rough again over here. And then the organza from the puff sleeves here. And this is kind of like a big puff sleeve, honestly, the way that it's done. See? Really cool. I like it a lot. And it's like almost see-through because of course this fabric is see-through but it's i think it's only double layered but it might actually oh there's tool inside look 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 it's hard to see but there's actually tool inside of the organza god that's cool that's actually really neat um and that makes it not super see-through so you can barely see through it which i like a lot this is such a nice dress i really like this for monster high it's really cool i can't believe how well she's standing on her own also okay moving down we have the leggings so just like the sleeves they have foiling on them and it's meant to look a little bit distressed 
And yeah, made out of a stretchy fabric. It's nice. And then we have that same trim that's on the wrists and other places, but it's meant to mimic the wrist area. And then the same tool that's on the ref. And then the shoes. These are awesome shoes. Check these out. They've got the creepy monster teeth. And then the puff balls here have, I think it's meant to be mimicking the Monster High Schoolette somewhat. I'm not sure. And then just really nice shoe design in general, but Monster Highified. Pretty simplistic in terms of what's Monster Highified, but I mean, Pennywise is supposed to look like, you know, a clown. Not like he's gonna murder you, <laughs> I guess. No, the design is horrifying to begin with, but you know. Um, so, and the hands look like a new sculpt to me. I don't know this sculpt for Monster High, but it might not be new. Um, but they, I mean, new when this came out, obviously. But they're, they're just glove hands with the little stitching around all the fingers. And yeah, just basically the seam. It's very cute. Very, very cute. And that's the only, like, monster feature that this doll has, which makes sense because of it being a Pennywise doll. <laughs> um, and then the ruff goes back on really easily. You just undo this and put it back around the neck and there we go so wow okay so let's go to our final thoughts now. all right my friends we've made it up to the Skelector display so this is my now complete Skelector collection well other than Jackie and Tiffany but I do have them I just haven't put them up here yet and I guess that uh Cleo and Deuce 2 pack but they're going they're going over here with G3 don't worry about it okay so here they are this is actually really jarring <laughs> we got Magic of Pegasus ooh fantasy and then like Pennywise the clown uh, but anyway, so I put my Stephen King ghouls here, and it's so satisfying to finally get the three originals back together. I've had the twins all this time, and after I got them, I realized, like, oh god, I think I made a mistake not getting Pennywise, but all these years I've been like, you know what? It's okay. It's fine. Like, I got the twins, and I love them, and it, it is totally fine. Like, if I had never gotten Pennywise, it would be totally fine, but, like, I am so so grateful and excited to actually have her and my mom is diabolical in a positive way for doing this um look at her she's so cute and then the print is actually on display in my hallway in my house it's already been up there because my mom put it up there without even telling me and i was like oh that's cute um and then greta so greta's like among the best ones i think it's greta and pennywise are the best too um it's not fair though because the twins didn't have a whole lot to go off of but they are really really cool for what they had like I just love the the hedge maze shoes so cool or the topiary shoes and then we have elvira who i also really love but i had to um lower the neckline on the dress a little bit that's what i find so funny um when there was controversy around elvira i got like aflamed for saying i just wish that um they didn't seemingly treat her boobs as inappropriate um and people were telling me like oh it's inappropriate for children even though these are adult collector dolls but my main point was like pennywise you just look into, like, look up Pennywise's list of crimes. Uh, and that's very interesting. But Elvira also, one of Elvira's list of crimes is that I cannot catch her on camera because she's so pale with the black hair uh, that my camera does not like her. Same with Lydia. Love Lydia. We've got Beetlejuice. And um, let's see, do you have your bat up right now? Yeah. So you see that bat is on, like, an arm connected to the stand. So cool. So that's Dracula. And then we've got Frankenstein and, or Frankenstein's monster and the bride of Frankenstein. This is a monster. Um, and then this Frankie. I love that Frankie. Um, now that Cleo exists, I need to figure out where else to put that Frankie. Because I don't have a mummy yet. I hope they do that. I really hope they do a creature from the Black Lagoon. That's what I'm gunning for. Anyway, um, I'm so, so excited about her. And yeah, she's... She is awesome. She is so, so cool. She definitely is not overhyped. I mean, her price is definitely overhyped. Like, no matter how cool a Monster High doll is, y'all cannot be serious with that price. But um, she is a very, very special doll, and I'm very, very grateful to have her. And I never would have gotten her if my mom had not gotten her for me in this way. So it's very appreciated. This was, like, a big present, and I still cannot believe it. I still don't know how much she paid, but it was... She said it was well under the actual going rate, which at the time was, like, five or 600 So... Uh, but that's still a lot of money, um, so I'm very, very grateful. And yeah, I love my Monster High dolls. Monster High is what made me into a toy collector, so they'll always be extra special to me. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!